Hello, my name is Dr. John Char. I'm a holistic practitioner. We have the CET algae points related to the chakras, the acupuncture points of the organs and brain, emotions, the mantra, the colors, the eye movement, endocrine glands, and nerve plexus. The CET prime 1 plus 9 is related to the organ clock. The yang on the organ clock represents the bladder, the large intestines, the gallbladder, the stomach, the small intestines, and the triple warmer. The yang feeds and excretes and is the hollow organ. In post diagnosis, the yang is the superficial pulse. The yin on the organ clock represents the heart, sexual, spleen, lung, kidney, and liver organs, and the circulatory system. These organs are solid organs which store energy produced by the yang. It also distributes the energy. The yin expands, sedates, and is inertia. In post-diagnosis, the yin is the deep pulse. In Chinese medicine, there is a 24-hour circadian clock. So each two-hour span represents either a yang or a yin organ. And it also has a different function. I'll give an example. The heart, blood circulation, high energy, and lunchtime. It's from 11 to 1. From one to three is small intestines. It sorts out the food, absorbs food, and is low energy. It's nap time and represents the fire element, fire. Opposite that, from the yang, is the yin, and that's 12 hours away. So if you have something in the time of 11 to 1, you will have someone, something like that in the 11 p.m. to 1 p.m. And the opposite is if it's young on one side, 12 hours. On the opposite side, it is 12 hours later, is the yin. There are harmonizing habits. For instance, 5 to 7 a.m. is wake up, make bows. Meditate from 7 to 9 in the morning is sex, breakfast, walk, digest. From 9 to 11 is work, best is concentration. And 11 to 1 is eating, a main meal of the day, and walking. From 1 to 3 p.m., you absorb your food, short naps, work. And from 3 to 5 p.m., is work or study. And from 5 to 7 p.m., you exercise. It's a light dinner. And from 7 to 9, is light reading. Massage your feet. 9 to 11 p.m., is calm, socializing, flirting, sex. And from 11 to 1 a.m., you go to sleep. It's a cellular repair. 
and from 1 to 3 a.m. in the morning is deep sleep, detox liver and blood, and from 3 to 5 a.m. deep sleep and detox your lungs. Whenever you have a disturbance of the functions in a particular two-hour span, you can always go to the organ clock and look for the functions of what's happening with the particular organ and harmonizing habits, what you should do, what is the best time to do it in the two-hour span. Here's another organ clock which has different characteristics of the particular time. It's a human body energy clock. If you look at the 9 to 1, you see it's the spleen and the heart. And the spleen represents work and be active. The spleen is associated with mental powers, support metabolism, and responsible for converting nutrients into energy. On the other hand, the heart, you eat lunch and socialize, enjoy conversations, connect with the people and cooperate, reach out to people of service, nutritionist balance, lunch, and not too long filling. Here is a work chart of the different organs and time. And it gives you some characteristics of that particular time, what may happen and what you can do to bring health to your body. You can use this chart as a guide. So if you say you have a high sugar count or insulin problem, you might look at the pancreas and that's from 9 to 11. And he said, the stomach passes content on. Enzymes from the pancreas continue the digestive process. Carbohydrate energy is made available. Then you look at the middle column, and it says, good for concentration, creative paperwork. And you read the next one, it says, heart rate and blood pressure warmed up the ability to concentrate and love problems at its peak. Then you look at the fourth column. It says, high hormones activity helps boost serious concentration and enhances the mental performance. And the fifth column says, Shaded areas, best time to take medications for that organ. And the, finally, the last column gives you some tips on what you can do at the particular time as far as activities. In this worksheet, there's a continuation of the hours from 5 to 7 and on to 3 to 5 in the morning. And it gives you this on what you can do at that particular time. Say if you have a problem with your different organ, then you can look at the time and say, 
do I have disturbance at that particular time between the two hours? If it is, then you look at that chart and see what characteristics happen, the functions, what you can do to help relieve that problem. As you tap the CET on plus nine, you can say, well, okay, I'm tapping the liver point. And as you tap the liver point, you see what time it corresponds to your dysfunction or disturbance at that particular time. If it corresponds, then you say, well, at that particular time, I've got to do something. I've got to do certain things that will help me improve the health of that particular organ at that particular time. Balancing the yin and yang, each meridian has two hour peak energy time and 12 hours later, a two hour low energy time. In a mild stimulation such as tonification or sedation is applied to the meridian, only the meridian is affected. If the stimulus is intense on that meridian, then the opposite meridian is affected, sedated. Since one organ of the pair is yang and the other one is yin, there is a balancing effect. Thus, it is important to treat both organs and keep them balanced. If there is a toothache on the anterior central and lateral teeth, you should suspect an overabundance of energy on the bladder and kidney meridian, where the pain would be from 3 to 7 p.m., with a generalizing tiredness on the upper part of the body in the lung and large intestines meridians from 3 to 7 a.m., 12 hours away from the toothache. Therefore, by sedating the toothache at the time of the pain, 3 to 7 a.m., by treating the tooth with a mild stimulus, you can control the highly created by that tooth on the meridian only. If a patient has a headache at a certain time, for example, 1 to 3 p.m. on the organ clock, you suspect that he has an excess of energy in the small intestines and allow energy from 1 to 3 a.m., which is the liver. Sedation at 1 to 3 p.m. will relieve the headache and bring the energy down. This is using a mild stimulus and will only affect the meridian of maximum time. If the stimulus is too intense, the opposite meridian, 12 hours later, will have an opposite effect of sedation. You will notice that the person who had a toothache pain relief will also have energy increase several hours later. The healing process can be accomplished by energizing or sedating, usually low frequency oscillating current with the Dermatron electroacupuncture instrument or the meridian control points of the foot and hand as found in classical acupuncture and by bow. Another alternative is using the foot plates to energize and balance with low alternating electric current on the four quadrants of the body. In this way, the body will circulate and adjust its own deficiencies and surpluses of energy. Consequently, an equilibrium of energy will reduce among the meridians. You can also use the infratonic or sound therapy or a stimulating um, device that you may have that you can energize or sedate a certain point when applied on that point. There are times when you are under heavy sedation or depressed or are full of anxiety or you're a drug addict. Your body energy is lessened or weak and you can absorb entities. That's the spirit around you and that may cause you to act more in depression or anxieties or do things 
out of the ordinary because of fear of these entities. You can change that by tapping the CET 1 plus 9 and concentrating there's no entities that is affecting my body. You can also be affected by the spirit and you have a weakened spirit or non-belief in someone or something in terms of the higher being. You can get a broken spirit and that may cause you to feel very uncomfortable as you think about the energy of the higher beings guiding you. You can harmonize your mind, body, and spirit by doing the CET Prime 1 plus 9 daily and having good nutrition, exercise, and belief in your higher being. The ultimate goal for yourself is universal happiness. I gave you some techniques and following the four rules of nutrition, exercise, and belief in your God.